I, I didn't even know about the publishing. I had nothing to do with that website. I was pretty shocked about the story he told me uh, during uh, that meeting, how he's colluded with Ava Labs and, and how deep that... ...service kicking off in mid-September. I want to particularly thank you, the early adopters, for the important investments you're making to prepare for the day when the FedNow service goes live. Together, we'll be ready to launch the FedNow service between May and July of 2023. You take, take the red, red coin, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Andy Gomez in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades, XRP commanders, and buckle up. Because the future's extra, extra bright. And let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap, $999 billion, Down about 2.5% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP, $0.32, cents, down about 2%. In the past 24, BTC 19,650. We got ETH right under 1,500. We have Stellar XLM in the number 30 spot, 10 cents, down about three and a half percent in the past 24. John Deaton says, and 15 billion was lost because the SEC intentionally chose not to limit the allegations against Ripple to specific sales made by Ripple and his executives, but instead alleged all XRP, including secondary market sales of XRP are unregistered securities. JP Morgan says, you should sell your crypto. LMAO. Eleanor Terrett, I spoke with Rosalind Leighton about this today. She told me Forbes did not pull the article. Rather, she and her editor made the decision to rewrite the piece themselves. But I bet there was a little bit of pushback for that rewrite. XRP Tillion, Bed now will be kicking in mid-September and launched between May and July of 2023. The digital economy is here. A service kicking off in mid-September, I want to particularly thank you, the early adopters, for the important investments you're making to prepare for the day when the FedNow service goes live. Together, we'll be ready to launch the FedNow service between May and July of 2023, bringing this innovative core instant payments infrastructure to financial institutions of every size across America. You know what's coming. Riz XRP FedNow payment flow. The figure below illustrates a completed payment over the FedNow service in its simplest form. All roads lead to the bridge. FedNow plans the 2023 launch of the long anticipated faster payment system. FedNow will compete with private sector systems that some smaller lenders have been reluctant to use. Brian Brooks says actually the main selling points include one, transactions across decentralized networks not susceptible to single point failures. Two, that are not routed through a bottleneck managed by a government agency and three that are open to all versus only open to banks. Baba says, why do you think Volante was selected for Fed now? Why is Michael Barr at the Fed? Why is Rosie Rios on the board? Who did the overnight rates? O'Connor. Why is Ripple at BlackRock? Why did Volante select the XRPL? Your future was determined years ago. US CBDC on the XRP ledger. Crypto Eddie here from The Voice of the Skies in the Crypto Leaks video about Kyle Roche. The name is Christian Hansen, a Norwegian internet entrepreneur and venture capitalist. He says he had no idea that he was being filmed or that he would be used, set up like an investigative reporter. I have to ask, why, why do you think he would single you out as, you know, seeming like, I mean, he's placing you as what seems like an investigative journalist and changing your voice and filming him oh, against oh, his... Oh. I, I didn't even know about the publishing. I had nothing to do with that website. I was pretty shocked about the story he told me uh, during uh, that meeting, how he's colluded with Ava Labs and, and how deep that those roots was going in. And he got hundreds of millions of dollars in token. He proudly boosted that he sold off shares and all that and he was doing everything them and he rescued them from regulation issues and this and that you know i was quite shocked that you know but at the same time i mean the cryptocurrency or you know the 
the blockchain uh, environment has been, you know, strange in many ways. Um, there's a lot of, there's some good things and there's some really bad things out there. A lot of FUD being kicked around can only mean one thing. Something massive is coming. After Ripple taps to UAE, Qatar issues the first digital payment license. In conclusion, the Middle East has gradually been accommodating players from different parts of the world into its digital sphere. Ripple's partner, Trangolo, recently announced its expansion into this region. Last week, the cross-border payment proceeding hub opened a new payment quarter in the UAE. Notably, the Arab Gulf region emerged as a key region for cross-border digital payments post-pandemic. As reported earlier, the UAE is one of the top remittances, senders, and receivers worldwide. In 2020, the country recorded $42.7 billion and $6.78 billion in remittance outflows and inflows. Now they want that XRP. Yoshitaka Katao, extra, extra bullish. Ripple launches crypto-enabled enterprise payments in Brazil with TravelX Bank. SEC who? Apex Foundation, did you know that once the Avalanche Bridge to the XRPL is deployed, Apex will open Wrap XRP, WXRP on Apex Swap, a first in the Avalanche ecosystem. Are you ready? Flare Network says as we move through the Flare mainnet's observation mode and approach the public token distribution event, it's important to remember the native token of Flare name has changed and is now called Flare with the ticker FLR. No more Spark. Be careful to avoid confusion with any other projects. Spark is now Flare. Everyone is excited this morning about NFTs, XLS20, right on the horizon. We're very close to XLS20 implementation, estimated two weeks away. If the votes stay above 80%, are you ready for the XRP Ledger NFTs to take over and shake up the world? Matt Hamilton says, ooh, the amendment to enable native NFTs on the XRP Ledger has just crossed the 80% threshold of approval needed. Now it has to stay above 80% support for the two weeks to go live on mainnet. BPM Reveler says, let's go. XLS 20 vote is at 80%. Now we wait. StakeX says 80% has been reached. The time you have all been waiting for is just around the corner. We can't wait for NFTs on the XRP ledger and we aim for StakeX to be the hub for passive rewarding NFTs. So many amazing projects will finally be able to mint and stake. Nick Boulis says, per the code link below, after the fixed amendment, majority calc amendment activating, an amendment needs to maintain above 80% support for a period of two weeks before becoming active. From NFTs, XLS20 going live on the XRP ledger. Also, Flare Networks right around the corner. We got the SEC case. Get those bags packed, locked and loaded while you still have some time. Major announcement on XRP.com as we reach the 80% threshold. XLS20 is near. Attention all XRPL IOU projects. Apart from our partnership program, we will offer a free mint for your project through our launch pad. Send us a DM if interested. No fee. No royalty. Mr. Intuitive, only a matter of time. TikTok. TikTok. Seems to be a lot of transactions moving. Something big is here. Something massive is approaching. And with that being said, bag man and bag ladies, we're approaching a massive change, massive wealth, the transformation of all value. ISO 222 getting ready for November 2022. Going into 2023, lives will be changed. Faces will be melted. XRP coming back for that top prize. Where will you be when that rocket takes flight? We'll catch you up here at the tippy top. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag, and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below and drop an elbow on that like button from the top rope. And we'll catch you up here. Top floor, top roof on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. We don't know what the level of NFT usage is going to be, but there are definitely like artists who've talked about like throwing NFTs out to the crowd at a concert, giving a cut of future sales to the originator of the NFT. It's cats in the back, man. We back at it again. We just getting started. Where do we begin? Welcome to the party, all my crypto friends. 2022 full print, filling up a bag to the snow. Yeah, shorts in a bag, man. Welcome to the baglands. Ripple, ripple, neck. It's liquid, liquid, wet. Crawl, walk, give me rocket. Flying like a jet.